Live from PA TV Studios, it's the Lyle Style Show. And now, the man with the most style, it's your host, Lyle Style. Hey, welcome to another new edition of my show, Lyle Style Show. Um, I hear what I want to forget who's on the show before. Uh, JJ, this is really my close friend, JJ. He's, uh, he's, he's with the uh, Iowa City Community Officer. And uh, I want to say welcome to the show, JJ, man. Hey, thanks for you having know, me again. Having you, man. There's a lot of exciting things happening to you, man. Yeah. That's why you know, I had you on the show again, because uh, uh, now we hear some good news mm -hmm. that you are about to embark in a really big endeavor a dream of yours that you've been trying to do mm -hmm. for a long time, and finally the door is open. Share, share that, share that with, with, with my viewers, man. All right. Um, well, I uh, applied with uh, the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, say about six months ago. Um, it was my first time ever catching a plane, first time going to Las Vegas. Um, I got family. Well, first I'm gonna start off. I got I got a family out there, family members. I got an aunt and two cousins. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, They've been trying to, you know, get me to come down there. Like, hey, why don't you uh, come down here and test with Las Vegas? I was like, uh, Las Vegas? Like, wow, that's a big change. I mm -hmm, never mm -hmm. even thought about that, you know. I see them on cops all the time and all that. I was like, huh, well, you know, you know, that would kind of be fun. So so uh, she kind of talked me into doing it. So um, I went ahead and applied and filled out the application and uh, um, bought a plane ticket. Never flew a plane before in a plane, so I was very scared and nervous about that. Mm. Um, <laughs> Not knowing what's gonna happen, so I w you know flew down there, um, you know seeing Las Vegas. I'm like, wow, this is uh, definitely different from the Midwest. Uh, mm -hmm. So I went and I uh, uh, one day I did the physical agility test, mm -hmm. passed that. Uh, did my written exam, passed that. Then mm -hmm. I did a interview with the Aura Board and mm -hmm. passed that. So just kept passing stuff, and I was like, wow, this is uh, well, this is kind of looking promising. You know, if I keep <laughs> passing everything, yeah. So I uh, <clears throat> uh, came back and. Uh, that's when they started doing my background. I started doing more st stuff. So uh, they did like an application um, screening of all my stuff. And mm -hmm. it was like, all right, well, uh, we want to schedule you to come back down here um, to do the lie detector test and psychological psychological exam and all that stuff. So I went back down there again and uh, just like last time, uh, passed that stuff. And mm. Uh, they, I got a conditional job offer, so. You got a job yeah. offer, man. Got a job offer from Las hey, Vegas. Hey, man, you got a high yep. five on that, bro, yeah. I'm so happy for you, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm so happy for you. Uh, I know yeah. you've been, you know, looking forward to some, doing this for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's been your dream, you know, to, to be in, uh, you know, to be really in the law enforcement because uh, you, you really, you're a really good person. I think this is mm -hmm. really a fits, you know, fits you, you know, because you, are you from, originally from Davenport? Yep, yep, from Davenport, the Quad Cities. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's a big change for me. I, like I said, never been to the West Coast before. Um, it was just, you know, I ain't gonna lie, I was scared and it was a little bit nervous, but mm -hmm. I believe everything happens for a reason. So yeah. I just went ahead and sometimes in life, I learned you just gotta take that big leap. That's right. You know, and uh, I took that leap and got blessed. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> you got real blessed yeah, there. Yeah, so. Yeah, the door was open yeah. wide for you. Um, so um, um, so I, I'm really uh, grateful that uh, that you're doing this, and um, oop, see my man, my thing came off. That's all right. That's <laughs> it. Look at <laughs> my producer looks at me like loud. Uh, you are getting messing everything up here. Okay, okay, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm fine now. Okay, <laughs> I'm not hurt. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He look. At, he gave me like loud. You're really messing up. Okay. Uh -huh. Now. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, I'm, now I'm nervous now. Okay, anyway, man, I don't get nervous. Okay, mm -hmm. look, okay, but I can say this is, this, this is a good fit for you. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing that you're doing this and whatnot. God's bless you with this. So, so uh, uh, no, but wait, first of all, tell us why do you want to be a police officer? Ah, oh, man, um, being a police, I think ever since I was like this, you know, four years old, just growing up, um, it's kind of a funny story. Uh, you know, when you play cops and robbers or, you know, with your friends, childhood friends in the neighborhood or, uh, everybody wants to be Batman, Superman. Well, you know, they, they, they said they wanted to be Superman and all this. I always, always said I wanted to be a cop, you know. Mm -hmm. They were like, well, a cop, they don't have powers, you know. I was like, I don't know, just, <laughs> I, I can't really tell you why. It's just something that always stuck with me, you know. Mm -hmm. just, I just thought it was cool, you know. Was, you know, to me, that they was a superhero that, I, that you actually see, actually, mm -hmm. you know, every day. So, mm -hmm. and, you, know, you know, getting the bad guys and all that stuff. And like I said, I, like I said before, I used to watch uh, the TV show Cops with my grandma. Yeah. I was like, she loved that show. So uh -huh. the more I watched it, the more I was interested in. Um, not only that, 
I just enjoy um, helping people, working with the community, and um, being a leader, to, especially the youth. So yeah. if I can uh, change somebody's life by doing positive things and uh, reaching out to the community, then, I mean, what best way you can do it as being a police officer? Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. yeah. So, okay, something's wrong with your phone. My phone. You hear all that craziness, <laughs> man, happening, happening on this, okay, but, yeah. but uh, uh, so, you've been a police officer and stuff, so that's, that's been, like you say, a dream of yours. Mm -hmm. And I mean, how's your family, uh, uh, dealing with, with this big change in your life, man. To be honest, my family they they they're really excited. They're like really excited for me. Uh, they've been very supportive, and uh, since I told them about you know Las Vegas and because I already got a house, I well I already got a condo set up down there and everything. So mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I'm, I'm actually leaving uh, um, this Thursday. So oh, wow. my last day with this city uh, is going to be uh, this Wednesday. So so this is the last time a Lost Style show, man, <laughs> for for well, a while until I come back and visit. So, okay, you yeah, come. You okay, you, you, you welcome to show anytime, man. So yeah, but yeah, so so that they they support you. Yeah, they they they're already talking about coming down for Christmas so <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. why because they want to go somewhere warm oh yeah I don't believe it. they will go somewhere warm man. Hey, you, now we got a reason we're gonna go see right. we're gonna see JJ it's gonna be I ain't gonna lie it's gonna be weird we probably waking up on Christmas morning and it's uh 70 something degrees outside yeah, yeah. so I'm pretty excited for that oh, yeah. but yeah and uh my place is that I got out there um it's, it's next to the mountains mm. yeah so I got a good view of the mountains and everything so you can go nice summertime weather and then you go to up to the snow up to the mountains mm -hmm. if you want to then Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, that's a beautiful thing. Now, now, a, a, another reason why I want to ask you too, because because you have a, a special woman, a special person in your life too, oh, and <laughs> yeah, she she's a very special person in your life, man. Oh, man. So so it's a beautiful thing, you know, that you have somebody special. Mm -hmm. And how she feel about you doing doing, doing man, this adventure? Uh, man, you know what? She's been a big help in this. Um, you know, very like she's been very supportive, um, making sure we get everything lined up and ready to go in Las Vegas. And, uh, yeah, I've been with her for a year now, and yeah. um, I don't know. Just everything, everything's going good, so I'm, I'm gonna keep it going that way. That's right. And, and, and y'all both are taking taking this big step together. Yeah, she's yeah. getting her career together too, mm -hmm. and you're doing your career, which is you know she's involved in the nursing program. Mm -hmm. So that, that's that's a blessing, man. The both yeah. of y'all have y'all make a nice couple. Uh, uh, I just want to say now, um, and and okay, do you know the little bit difference? And here, in the, is it a little bit more faster pace out there in Vegas? Oh my god! How gosh. did you? What, what's 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 been uh, the pitfalls? So you could say, you know, um, out there in Vegas. Well, I'll I, I tell you one thing: uh, the traffic in Las Vegas is very crazy. Like mm. <laughs> people is like like going 90 miles an hour in the interstate. Like if you don't go fast, you will get hit. Ooh. I mean, you go to the interstate, you got to keep going fast. Like so, yeah. Of course, from the Midwest compared to uh, the West Coast, it's a, a you know, definitely a faster pace. Mm -hmm. Just you know, everybody's just moving fast. You know, there's so much going on. It's a big city. You know, mm -hmm. tourists and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, um, I'm pretty excited in, to hop into that and try to keep yeah. up with. You know me. I'm st you know still real young. And I like yeah, uh, yeah. You know, that's one thing about me. I, I like new things. I like staying active, and mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty. Pro I'm a pretty proactive person. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to hop in there and. Uh, you know, take on a challenge. Yeah, I know so, you, you do good. But yeah, just um, so much, you know, Las Vegas, like my first time actually getting out of the, you know, getting off the plane, walking into the airport in Las Vegas. I don't know if you've ever been there before. No, but I've never been to Vegas. I've seen no. that there are slot machines inside the airport. So I was like, but this airport is almost like, kind of look like the Mall of America. There's so much going on. And mm -hmm. it's uh, it was, that right there is pretty amazing to me. But no, I take that back. The most amazing part was flying into Las Vegas. I really? flew in at nighttime, man. I kid you not. It was like, an ocean of lights, like miles and miles, and all around. So really, yeah, that was that was just probably like one of the coolest moments of my life. So <laughs> yeah. even though I was scared to death because I thought we was gonna, you know, <laughs> land <laughs> down, but yeah. Um, yeah. And then not only that, being picked up from the airport, my uh, my my aunt flew like she uh, drove me downtown the, down the script and. So I just I'm not used to seeing all the lights. It was just so much lights and uh -huh. palm trees everywhere, and mm -hmm. it, it was just crazy, man. I was like, you know what? I just knew right in there I have to move down here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you knew you, so, that yeah. was your calling right there. You yeah. knew you had to be. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, wow, you know, because yeah. you know, like I said, I've been I've been, in, uh, I've been uh, Midwest all my life, um, down south of Mississippi, where my family's from, and you know, it, just all green, all green and trees, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you don't really see that much big stuff, but. Yeah, like I said, going out there is, is just, it's like a whole new world almost. Yeah. So, you mean, you got to come visit me. I'm yes, I'm you, saying. You I, I was thinking about that. I said, that's next week. I'm going to say, <clears throat> I'm coming down there to see you, man. Mm -hmm. I'll check you out a little bit. Um, and um, so, okay, 
So it's been a police officer. So, so did you ever get a chance to talk to any of the cops out there? Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, uh, I met a couple officers um, when I was down there. Actually, matter of fact, I did a ride along. So oh. hop in a car with an officer for uh, uh, his whole 10 hour shift. And uh, man, it was crazy. Uh, just like the episode, well, the TV show Cops. Oh, Cops, yeah. Yeah, man, we uh, go on license sirens like every 15 minutes. And you know what? I'm glad I did that ride along because it made me uh, actually see what I'm going to be getting myself into. Mm -hmm. So, and like I said, like I just told you, I'm, I, I like the fast pace and right. staying busy. So, um, I don't think I could ever work a job where uh, you do the same thing every day. So, mm. um, I, I you love like change. Huh? Yeah, I love having challenges and all that. So, yeah, um, man, it was like a movie. It's like <laughs> I was in a movie, man. <laughs> so much going on. So, and uh, all the officers down there is, is really nice, you know, really nice. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they're very supportive, too. It's like, hey, man, uh, once you get on, you know, contact me, you know, and all that stuff. You know, mm -hmm. we can hang out. And uh -huh. so, yeah, I can already tell down there that uh, um, I definitely make making friends fast. So. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. now, now, okay. Now, now is, it, is, it, is there a lot of minorities out there, officers out there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. In, in the Vegas Police well, Department? Las Vegas Police Department have about 2,600 officers. So you're talking about 2,600 officers. So, yeah, it's very diverse. Like, uh -huh. um I was told in the police academy that we actually have to learn Spanish. So, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, of course, it's very diverse down there. So, uh -huh. so, so, so you feel like comfortable with a lot of black cops, a lot of. Uh, oh, I, to be honest, cops. be honest, man, I, it don't matter to me as, as long yeah. as everybody can get, you know, everybody, you know, we all get along and uh -huh. work together and just yeah. get the get the work done. And, That's right. Hey, I don't like I like I said before, I, I don't see color. I just see. I, I see people, hey, personality. Man, that's, so that's what, that's what you're supposed to yeah, see. But yeah, right. definitely, it's really diverse down there. Yeah. So yeah, because uh, because I mean, because you know, there's always <clears> been a stigma now with everything that's going on in in, in this <clears> country <throat> with all the craziness, all the all the bad cops that that get to get the spotlight, <clears throat> and you know that type of thing, whatever you know, and 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 make it worse for 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 good people, right. good officers that that's there yeah. for a positive for a change, for a positive change to really help. Yeah. And protect and help people, right. all people. Uh, so I mean, so and I know, and I know you're gonna be one of the good ones out there. I yeah. have no doubt because you you have a good heart, man. And so uh, yeah, that that I like to see that, you know. I mean, because it's not too many spotlights on really good cops, really, mm -hmm. but that's really there to do do what they, their job, but mm -hmm. do it in, in a very dignified, very respectful way, a really caring way to you know to. Get something solved, but do it in a nice way. So, uh, I'm glad that um, that they got you on the on the uh, on the beat. So, so now, now, it's your aspiration one day to be like a detective. You know what? Um, I think I won't mind being in patrol for like the first five five six years. Like I said, like I, I like staying busy. So, um, so yeah, um, staying in patrol probably after my first five years, I'll probably put in for a K9 officer. Um, mm -hmm. See how that goes. Um, mm -hmm. Also, uh, probably. Um, Drugs investigation. It's like I, I like I probably be the person to like to look for drugs to see if I can find, you know, anything and you know get the, mm -hmm. get the drugs mm -hmm. off the street, something like that. Yeah. So, um, other than that, I'm cool with just if I make it if I be on long enough, just retire as a sergeant. Hey, Amen. So, I, I, I don't know. That's so good. that's good. I'm gonna take it step by step. But okay, now now because yeah. you've been you've been here all your life in Iowa, but mm -hmm. uh, and and so you see now what would be the differences that you experience being here in this state then? You might see out there in Vegas, mm -hmm. with, you know, and um, and what you're doing, because you've been yeah. here, you've been doing what you're doing for a while. Yeah, for a while and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. It's a little bit more um, low key here for you. Yeah, um, I learned from living in Iowa is is very slow. Well, not slow in a bad way, but yeah, it's, it's just different. It's different in the Midwest, you know. Um, um, you, you know, like you know, like I said, fast pace. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I guess regular pace. So. Um, there's a lot of small police departments around here, right? And um, I don't know. Like I said, I want to challenge, so I decided to test with Las Vegas, mm -hmm. a bigger department. No, no, no. Why, yeah. why, why not Davenport? Davin well, I don't know, man. You know what? To be honest, I'll probably be taking a lot of my friends to jail. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, kind of, <laughs> all my friends kind of, and stuff to jail. So yeah, Davenport. I, uh, I'm more <laughs> shy away from people you know, so yeah. made the job more easier. <laughs> uh, -huh. uh huh. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, why not Des Moines? Des Moines. You I don't know. You, you know, I was. You know, I did at one point thought about applying with Des Moines PD, but um, I don't know. I just never got a. Ch well, every time I th every time I applied, well, tried to apply, they was never hiring. So oh, okay. Probably never okay. got to that point. Okay, okay. So, but th this opportunity came. Now, how did you mm -hmm. find out about this situation? Uh, family down there, they kept trying to. It was like, hey, Las Vegas is hiring. It's like every time I talked to them, hey, Las Vegas is hiring. 
I was like, man, I don't know about that. And, uh, and like I said, I, I just decided to go ahead and take the off, take the offer up and go ahead and do it. So, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. So. And then what happens? And, and the rest of history. Yeah. Uh, well, I was actually thinking about testing with uh, LAPD. Or oh, where's you? Or at Chicago. I mean, I'm okay. telling you, I'm 27 years old. So you, yeah, you're young. You man. only live once. Yeah, so. That's right. So you definitely want to. Well, yeah. my my, <laughs> advice, my advice to people is do everything you can now as you're young because you don't want to be. You know, as that old person, like, man, I wish I would have, uh, oh, I could have done this. Thank I you for, yes, yes. <laughs> thank you, young man, for even putting it that way. And, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. Just do everything you can while you're young, because I'm telling you, you'll feel so much better about yourself. That's right. Or do everything while yeah. you can, while you're while you still a, a nice older gentleman, and you still can do your thing. That too. Okay, okay, thank you, man. <laughs> I can, I'll throw that one in there too. Yeah. Uh, but, um, so, so you thought about L.A., yeah, um, they, they wouldn't even they wouldn't do anything yet. Um, no, I. You know what? My I had family in Las Vegas, so I think I thought it'd be more easier trying them out first oh, than yeah. Los Angeles because mm -hmm. yeah, that would be pretty expensive. Yeah, it would be <laughs> paying for a hotel yes, and everything else. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yep, and, and now you got your now you got your condo. Is, is that exciting to have a yeah, decent, um, decent condo? You, you and your girl going down there. Yeah, you know, it's funny how that worked. Um, it was probably a couple of weeks ago. We uh, were just looking around for real estate or just looking around for uh, apartments or places down in Las Vegas. And believe it or not, in Las Vegas, the same cost of living. It's the same cost of living as here. What? So, man, they have houses for like uh, eight hundred dollars. Um, two story houses, upstairs, you know, bathroom downstairs, and it has a uh, has a garage, backyard, and all that. So, but the the real estate lady, she, uh, I said I wanted that look at the house, but she actually uh, she actually hooked me up, as in uh, she's like, oh, that's a bad area, you know, um, you sound like a nice guy and everything, and I want to make sure that you get put into a nice area. So she uh, she was like, oh, how about this condo and this and this one. You know, it's one area. It's, in, it's inside a gated community, wow. and it's next to the mountains. So I was like, "All right." So she sent me the pictures and everything. I was like, "Wow, okay." <laughs> yeah, and, and okay. Well, so for the cost of you, of you. Yes, um, for the place I'm staying, it's like eight fifty. That's month, not so. bad. Yeah, man. you're right. That's but yeah. I got pretty lucky. You did. You got blessed yeah. with that one right there. So, so you got your condo, and you know, you got, you know, you, you got your job. You uh, you're going down there to. Uh, uh, take some more tests as you were telling me? Um, yeah, so a, a conditional job offer is, um, what the, re the reason why it's conditional because I still have to pass my uh, drug test. Okay. Um, I gotta take my physical agility test one more time mm -hmm. before entering into the academy, make sure I'm still in shape and everything. Right, right. And then I gotta take a medical test. Okay. So yeah, and uh, once once I have to pass in that, then I'm good to go. So you're good to go. That's why it's conditional. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, you, conditional you, job well, offer. Well, you, so. you'll be good to go, man. Yeah, I yeah. think you're gonna, you pass it once, you pass it again, mm -hmm. man. Uh, so, I mean, now, any, any advice of uh, young people, you know, like yourself, mm -hmm. to give them to where they want to follow their dreams? And, yeah. I mean, they don't have to be in law enforcement or anything mm -hmm. they want to do. What would you tell them? Man, be honest, don't give up. You know, you know I, I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, um, me, I've been trying to get into law enforcement for <laughs> ever since I was, like, what, 19? Mm -hmm. and, um, and you're 100 years old now. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah, 27. So, yeah, it took me, you know, years. But... Um, the people, the people who doubt you, the people who doubt you and uh, try to hold you back, don't listen to them. Or another thing you can do is use that as motivation to uh, help you reach your goals. I ain't telling you I had so many people doubt me, you know, and I won't make it this far. Mm -hmm. But you know, I did. You know, I just took that and used that as motivation. So use whatever people say to you negative and just take that and use it, um, so you can be successful. Mm -hmm. um, don't never stop and always believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself, and then once you, you know you know believe in yourself and just mm -hmm. keep pushing yourself you'll get there because it, because the only time um, you will fail if you just quit Amen. and you will never know you'll never know if you would have been over to you know to make it or reach it to where you want to go so yeah that's, that's and so you know people talk about me say negative style like all right cool cool you know it's just like playing a sport okay well let me go ahead and show you what I got. Yeah, that's right. So, that's right. Now, the sky's the limit. It really that's is. That's right. It really is. So. Well, now, since you go out there, you're going to see any shows out there? You're going to get into the, into, the, into, the, into the fight game? Nah, you, I don't know about that. I, see any, any type of... Uh, I probably work some overtime and check it out, but... Uh-huh. <laughs> you, you go inside different hotels? I mean... Yeah, I'm definitely going to go down there and explore and look around. Um, the last two times I went down there was just, you know, 100% strictly business. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really get a chance to go down to the script, but... I'm not really a gambler, so thank God about that. So, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Never thought of, never really was interested in going to the casinos and gambling. So, mm -hmm. but man, I'll tell you down there, man, they got uh, slot machines inside the dollar store. Slot machines inside they, the dollar store. Inside the gas what? stations. And what, and wait, 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 wait. Hold the stop the press on this mm -hmm. one. 
It's not a dollar store. You got a slot machine. Okay, I got a dollar. Hmm, let me get over here and play and play this. You know, game. They, they got, man, I'm telling you, they got they got penny machines, nickel and dime machines, slot machines, and all that. In the dollar store. In the dollar store, man. Gambling, man. Hey, people take that serious. It's, lot, it's, it's Las Vegas. Ooh, boy, they got a lot. Of, yeah. They got a lot of gambling problems out there in Las Vegas, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you better be, you better be just on, on your piece of cue. Yeah. yeah. So that's oh wow. Uh, so that's, see, I, I never been out there. See, my mom was out there a couple of times. She went to Vegas and the Strip, you know, different hotels, whatever. But I do plan to go out there, and I'm gonna look you up. Not for real. When I, when I you know, get out. Well, there. I got so, you on Facebook. You yeah, know, Facebook. you, you, you know everything I be doing. That's right. Because <laughs> you go pasting on Facebook. Yeah. Facebook. So uh, um, um, now, what? Okay, what, what was? Uh, What's okay now? What what are you preparing for right now? You preparing? Uh, you prepare? I know you're preparing to leave. So how are you mm -hmm. going about doing it? You you say goodbye to your family? And yeah, I, I pretty much I pretty much did all the goodbye to the family. Um, like I said, I leave uh, Thursday, Thursday, probably around three o'clock. So yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a long drive. It's a twenty, I think a twenty three hour drive. So we gotta drive ten hours through Nebraska, the state of Nebraska. So you're driving? Yeah, yeah. I got a moving truck and put my car in the back of the trailer. So. Oh shoot! Yeah, so ten hours through Nebraska, uh, ten hours through Colorado. Hopefully, I'll run into no snow because we don't need no snow. No, you, know, you, don't need, like oh, a, you don't need no snow, man. That's gonna put a three-hour, so, not a three-hour delay on it. So, but so how long is it gonna take you to get from here to Vegas? Oh, 23 hours. So, uh, ho yeah. So okay. Ten, so ten hours Nebraska, ten hours uh, Colorado, and then three hours to Utah, uh -huh. and then Vegas. So nonstop. Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm asleep. All right. Yeah. Okay, because you ain't gonna be driving nonstop. Is you? No, I'm about to no say. Boy, it's not time to go to Las Vegas, man. You're going to, Yeah, I'll be tired. So yeah, you're going to be, gonna be tired. Happen. Ain't the word for it, but, okay, so so probably you and your girl probably takes turns. Oh, yeah, driving, definitely, yeah, definitely, yeah. Driving, uh, I, I, I ain't going to lie, man. I, I really don't like driving for a long time, so I'm going to just hurry up and drive as much as I can and get down there. Because <laughs> once I get down there and ain't driving back, I'm, I'm going to be flying. You're flying I'm, back? Yeah. I hear you, man. <laughs> you got your car, yep. Yeah. Now, now, is your girl, is, is she looking forward to it? She's excited about, you Yeah, she, man, she's, the probably, new, she's probably more excited than I am. Oh wow! Yeah, we were wow. talking about you know this has been we've been talking about this for the last past like seven months. So Ooh. we all we re, we all like nonchalant about it like uh, uh -huh. yeah yeah. So I think it's not going to hit us till we actually uh, get on the road. Yeah, until you actually yeah. leave the state of Iowa mm -hmm. and be, you know going to yeah towards your destiny though. But uh, um, so, so okay, so what what um, so what's what's going on? Okay, with, with you now we talked we touched about a lot of different stuff. Mm -hmm. so, Maybe you got ten minutes left in the show, but mm -hmm. um, you you told us how you feel about uh, okay. Let this one I'm ask you: If mm -hmm. this wasn't your career, what would, what would be your alternative career? I mean, if, if you didn't do this as a police mm -hmm. officer, what would be your your second? Yeah, man, I think I would like to be a pilot. A pilot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, For, I ain't gonna lie, that man. sounds like you. I, sound I'm not like gonna lie, being up. Being up in that, being up above the clouds, man, it's probably one of the amazing feelings that, or just experience that I would like, ever had. Like just you know looking down and uh -huh. being being you know being above the earth is it's, it's pretty it's pretty awesome. So I probably like to be a pilot or something like that. Really? Yeah. So that's a big step because my family is like, no, we don't like to fly. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I never was into flying until I went to Las uh -huh. Vegas for the first time. So. <coughs> yeah, but probably like a pilot or or even like in the Air Force or something like that. Like, oh, yeah, oh, right, yeah. yeah. Like I'll probably join the military, join the Air Force, and uh -huh. try to be like a pilot or something like that. Yeah, so, so th yeah. that would be your second career. Well, yeah, if, yeah, but I'm, the, I'm 27 yeah. now, so I, probably, I, I waited too long. So. Too? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably a little bit too late for that. 27 is old, oh my yeah, goodness. So that'd be, that'd be pretty cool to do, though. Yeah, 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 I was, yeah, I, I was, me, myself, if I wasn't in, into doing a talk show, I, mm. I, I wanted to be uh, a millionaire. Of course. Yeah. I, yeah, I want to be a millionaire. If I, I didn't do a talk show, I want to be a, so a millionaire. So how would you do that? Would you be in Vegas buying lottery, lottery tickets or yeah, yeah. <laughs> gambling every day or what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I'm really going to be really be a millionaire doing that, boy. Yeah. You would see me on Skid Row, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. No, but no, no, I'm just kidding about that. But mm -hmm. I probably would want to be, uh, you know, some. I love sports, and I always wanted to, to be, uh, I love football, and I mean, and but boxing is really what's my passion. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, and I always wanted to be a professional fighter, man. Where I don't fight, but that's weird. But I always wanted to be a professional fighter. Mm -hmm. If I didn't, you know, do what I'm doing and whatnot, I don't know why. But I just love the sport, and I could just uh, so you're Floyd Mayweather myself. You're a Floyd Mayweather fan? No, I'm not. No, no uh, man. Okay, I, I'm a fan of his talent. 
-hmm. but I'm not a fan of his personal life. Oh, okay. So that's another story we would get into. That, that's another the whole story we could talk about. So you'll probably meet him out there pretty oh, yeah, You might have to arrest him one day. Nah. <laughs> I, I hope not, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know about uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, he got a nice house. Uh, but uh, Yeah, but, um, my uh, family told me they seen Floyd Mel Like, Floyd, he be, he bees everywhere. He be running around town and stuff. Does he? Like, yeah, he actually be in Walmart and everything. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm well, surprised. he got his bodyguards around. Yeah, right? he got the entourage. I mean, I I mean who, who, shoot. Mm -hmm. you see him, you see everybody else, you know, so. Yeah, ain't but, no telling uh, how many, well, working for the police department, they, they uh, do security for a lot of the shows. Yeah, they, they probably do. On. Ain't no telling how many celebrities I'm probably going to run into. Oh, man. You, you, I make sure I get a quick picture. Yeah, that's right. Your picture. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, take picture. off. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and put it on Facebook. Well, no, it's supposed to post it on Facebook. But, uh, um, yeah, so, I mean, it, it's a really beautiful venture. I mean, I'm really um, blessed to have you as a friend, and I'm really so excited at what, what you're doing and mm -hmm. your endeavors. And, I, I mean, I do. I just wish you, you, and, you and your girl all the best and stuff, you know, you deserve it, man. Uh, you was, you're young, but you just have a very uh, older spirit about yourself. You know, you're mature to be so young you are. So, With, Hey, man, yeah, thanks. Yeah, I really appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you've been raised real, real well. So um, don't, don't forget the little people, man, when you make it oh, big no, out there. No. <laughs> yeah, loud, man, we go way back, what, four we years? Do. Yes, we do, man. Yeah, I, uh, Dang, every time years. I came into Come and Go, I was seeing you yelling at people, hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 put that back. Because people around out the store and try to steal bottles and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. I come in there, I was like, hey, that's the guy who be yelling at people inside of Come and Go. <laughs> Don't I, mess with him. I see Don't you, mess with him. I see him. you at McDonald's like three, like five days out of the week. Uh, thank you, man. <laughs> thank you for... <laughs> For revealing that about to everybody on the team. I was about like, I was like this man, man, like, do you, do, you know, do you cook? I'm trying or? to eat good, man. Oh, man. McDonald's, I'm so okay. Man, you need to get a woman that cooks a lot for you. Uh, <laughs> we don't talk about my personal. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad. I'm embarrassed now, man. Then you talk about. I'm sorry. Okay, that's, that's good. No, <laughs> you, 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 you might as well, this is your last time. This is your last rib. You might as well get me on my show, man, about personal life. Don't have any, you know, body. But you know, there's a lot of good women out there, so. Uh, you know, so I'm... Um, well, you come to Las Vegas, I, I see what I can get lined up for. Oh, you really? Okay. Yeah. But, oh. not, but, but you can't pick from the script. You got to stay away, right? Oh, I can't pick... You, you oh. probably get in trouble, I'm right? going to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, oh, you got to watch okay. out for that. Okay, been doing that, huh? I'm like, wow, no. No, 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 no. I'm about to take you to jail Walk no, away no, from the playing. strip. Walk <laughs> away from the strip. Okay, please. Uh, no, but... Yeah. Uh, oh, also check for Adam's apples, then. Oh, <laughs> and, 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 oh really? And also the deep boys. You gotta, oh, the deep... Be careful, though. Women have deep voices now? In Las, uh, you you get a lot in Las Vegas. Oh, do you? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. But they say what's what's in Las Vegas, stay in Las Vegas. Yeah, but you can bring some things back with you. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, man, you really make you embarrassing. Okay, that. Thank you, man. <laughs> uh, I'm, hey, look, look, people. I'm not like that. I'm not uh, it's okay. It's, you know. It, I, <laughs> I'm not even going to Las Vegas now. I'm, if I go, I'm going straight to your condo. Good. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going, man. I appreciate hey, man, it. I'm only trying to protect you, all right? I appreciate all it, right. man. Okay, yeah, okay. So, so you should give me some tips about when I go out there. All right. Because you don't want to, because you, you, you be on patrol. You don't want to see me on the strips uh, right. talking to certain people. And if I do, make sure that they have nothing down here. Yeah. And you be good. Look, the, the boys don't talk like this. Wow, you a fast learner. I think you'd be okay, man. Oh, you think I will? Yeah, okay, I think you'd well, be fine. Okay. Right. See, I, I'm going to bring T-Bone with me. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they're ready for T-Bone. They ain't ready for T-Bone, nah. but they're going to have to get ready because T-Bone's <laughs> coming out to Vegas. Okay, T-Bone's coming out to Vegas. Me, me and T-Bone, we're going to tear it up, though. But, uh, but uh, you know, it's, it's been a lot of exciting things, you know, that I've been knowing you with, with and stuff. And you, I've seen you grow over the four years that I've known mm -hmm. you, man. And, um, and uh, you, you, you tell, tell your family, I said hello. Your mom, yeah. I said hello. And um, uh, so you, it's, it's, it's uh, man, I just can't say too much. I could say you just really mean a lot to me, man. You really do, man. Hey, you, hey, you mean a lot to me too, loud. I promise. Yeah, yeah. So, so we, okay, so we're going to give a shout-out. You want to give a shout-out to somebody out there? Uh, shout-out to my uh, family in the Quad Cities. Uh, um, shout-out to all my friends. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow's somebody's birthday. So oh, shout no, out, no, so shout oh, out to that person. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, okay, <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Thank you, man. My birthday. Guess, guess what? I'm gonna be 25 years old. My birthday tomorrow. I'm gonna be 25 years old. And took him out to the polygraph. Yes. Oh, polygraph. <laughs> <laughs> polygraph. Okay. Okay. I, 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 you know, you can you, you can fake those. But anyway, uh, no, I'm gonna be no, 20. You, can't. <laughs> you, know, you can't. No. Okay. Well, you should know. You okay? I'll be 25 years old. My birthday. My birthday tomorrow. 
And I thank y'all for, uh, I want to say thank you, JJ. Yeah. This is a beautiful thing. You coming down here short notice and talking to me about your, your I, I sure was in the middle of packing when you called me. Yeah, he was, I, wasn't I, he? I was packing up my stuff. Hey, man, did you come down here? What? Oh, shoot. It's, 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 oh, what? Right. It, it is today the 16th? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I thought, I, you know, yeah, right. Okay, see, I, so I'm, I'm, I, have to, I have to drag you on the show because I want to see you off the right way. And I know everybody's going to appreciate that. So my, my, my producer said, wrap it up. Thank you. I want to say uh, you can sh shout out, to, shout out to, to your girl. Uh, shout out to Sophie. That's so, that's her name. Yeah. Shout out to so Sophie out there. <laughs> uh, you know you're gonna do good out there in Vegas too. I also, I want to say a shout out to everybody that watched the show, continue to watch the show, and whatnot. And when you go down to Vegas, come come and see JJ here. You know you might see him around around to so say hello to him. Go out to Vegas <laughs> see see JJ. But so I'll let uh, you know. I love. I'll let you know if I ever make the TV show Cops. All right. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. always in Las yeah. Vegas. Okay, so. good, good, good. You'll be driving. I want to see that. So a anyway, man. Thank mm -hmm. you. I want to thank everybody for watching another episode of Loud Style Show. Keep watching the show and um, keep your dreams alive. And like he said, never give up on your dreams. I'm living proof. I'm living a dream myself. Until next time, keep styling, and profiling. I'll see you next time here on the Loud Style Show. I love you all. Shout out to all my friends and shout out to, to, to my special friends out there that I know too. Bye.